right, what is going on? Welcome to the channel. Uh, quick video for you all here today. Quick FSD beta video. Um, we are headed to the dentist office actually, and we're gonna let FSD drive. Little uh, incident with the ambulance ahead. Everyone just uh, kind of got out of the way so that the ambulance can move. All right, we're gonna go ahead and engage FSD. Notice how I do have a double pull still intact. And uh, this is 11.4.9. So single pull is available, but I've tried it out for a couple days and I wasn't the biggest fan of it. Um, I get into situations where I use the cruise control um, to stop the vehicle. So, so sometimes um, when I get behind the car and I'm driving, I just tap the gear stock down once and it will um, it, it'll slow the car down exactly based on the speed of the car in front of me. Um, and I like to use that for manual driving. So because of that, I, I decided to stick with the double pull. Uh, with single pull, it kind of takes away the traffic aware cruise control completely and um, That's something I wasn't a huge fan of so So for now, we're sticking with double pull Shouldn't make a difference in the outcome of the drive It just is to kind of streamline the whole process if you look at the refresh model 3 or the model S or model X it's all one button on the steering wheel to activate autopilot so they're trying to keep it all the same so it's just one indication there all right so we are looking to get on to fairfax county parkway for any of the locals that are familiar with the road um we're looking at about a nine minute drive here trying to get on to Eldon Street so hopefully no takeovers I like how FSD did a really smooth job about merging into this lane and uh, it's got to take this exit coming up here to the right so let's see how it does all right so this is gonna be the Fairfax County Algonquian Parkway exit man it got really far to the right when it indicated and merged but it still stayed within the lines it just did it a little fast so i felt like it was just getting a little close to the right but all in all no takeover so here we go with the yielding to officially get on to as some people know it's 7100 if you're a new driver probably know it as 286 but yeah Fairfax County Parkway um, where the speed limit is 50 and notice how it automatically sets the speed limit for you and uh, it goes the speed limit so that way you're not you know gonna get any tickets or anything like that on accident because one thing with Tesla is they don't make slow cars even their slowest car is pretty fast um, so I recommend to not really ever put it more than like five miles over, especially on a road like this. So yeah, we're looking to uh, maintain our traffic flow and get off on Eldon Street here. So hopefully, again, no takeovers. There hasn't been any since the start of this video. So I'm looking to uh, get to my destination without having to make any takeovers. And notice how we are getting into the left lane changing lanes into the faster lane I do have it on assertive mode so you can see kind of how it operates on assertive mode I, I tend to leave it on assertive mode it's been that way for me for the past like three months or so and I like the way that it drives because it cuts people off I mean it stays in the passing lane as much as possible the only thing I don't like is like if you're like under two miles from your exit Sometimes it'll go into the passing lane, um, even though like you tend to like want to get into your right lane if you have a right turn coming up. Sometimes FSD decides to go and uh, get into 
into the passing lane when you got a turn coming up and then all of a sudden last second before that turn it'll get back into the right lane that's something that i could definitely see some improvement on i think the rule is if it's under a mile it will stay into that right lane but if there's more than a mile left on your turn it will try to get into the passing lane if clear which sucks say if you're like 1.2 miles away from your turn and then it gets into the path into the left lane and it takes like half a mile for it to get back into the right lane say cars start piling up red light comes up there sometimes you get stuck and you have to take over so i think they should make the rule like maybe one and a half miles and under maybe even two miles and under you stay in that lane then just don't make any passing changes a little bit of the feedback that I could provide because I've seen it do that several times and it usually can fix itself but I put myself in situations where I've had to take over um, because of the short distance to the to the turn and FSD wanting to get over of course but yeah notice how I leave it on 55 <laughs> and uh, all right so here's exactly what I'm talking about we got 1.4 miles to my turn and uh, it decides to get in the left lane. I got it set to 55 so it will not go over the speed limit or it will not go over 55 and especially with a car in front of me it won't you know go max like two or three car distance. Having it on assertive mode also gives it a shorter distance between cars as well as it makes it get in the passing lane more often. So here we go with the situation that I was exactly afraid of. Uh, we've got my right turn coming up in 0.9 miles and here we are camped in left lane. Um, so let's see how FSD does with um, making sure it takes the right turn. Hopefully it's not any last second takeovers but I will if needed so here we are on the pretty much half mile mark if I get to uh, 0.3.2 around a quarter mile I probably will go ahead and engage the indicator myself which is about to happen right now right when I said it was about to happen it did it itself but here's exactly what I'm talking about it, it wants to try to take this exit last second um, and uh, here we go with 0.2 miles left to my exit. Now it gets in the right lane. But I mean, it did it all in all. I'm not mad at it. All right, here we go with the right turn. I would have preferred to just sat back in that lane two miles ago and just made sure I was able to take this exit. No problem. All right, so we're looking to make a right here onto Eldon Street. And my dentist's office is just right up here. So definitely want to thank everyone for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that like button if you did. And subscribe to the channel for more. Take a look how we yield to the oncoming traffic. Do a really nice job there. And a uh, really good job all in all. Um, this will be the finale of the video here. Looking to make a right turn to this little cut road nice job and uh, I'm not sure which way it's going to take but we should go left here and it's going to do some kind of mini u-turn here we go all right so it did a really good job about getting me to my destination I wouldn't have gone any other way um want to thank you again for watching this make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed comment below on what you think I'm not sure what it's doing now Ooh, wee, okay nice little fun ride all right so let's see if we can end the video here not sure if it's gonna pick up the parking spot and it does not so we're just gonna go ahead and park it ourselves since we can still do that and then it picks it up when I'm halfway in there all right you all thanks again for watching and have a great rest of your day